All right, we're going to factor out this trinomial. The first thing we need to do is make sure there are no greatest common, there are no uh, common factors throughout any of those. 2, 11, and 15 do not have common factors. So to do this, I am going to use grouping. I'm going to multiply. Daryl Edmonds, please report to 601, please. Daryl Edmonds, please report to room 601. All right, I'm going to multiply A times the C, which is 2 times 15. I'm going to get 30. I'm going to find the factors of 30 that give me a negative 11 when I add them together. Let's try 6 and 5. 6 and 5 will work if both 6 and 5 are negative. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2t squared minus 6t minus 5t plus 15. The reason why I can do this is because a negative 6t plus a negative 5t is going to give me a negative 11t. So it all works out. Now I'm going to separate these terms using the associative property or what we call grouping. And so I'll have 2t squared minus 6t Representative from Lynn Hills, please report to the front office. Representative from Lynn Hills, please report to the front office. Then I'm going to have that being added to the quantity of a negative 5t plus 15. Close those parentheses. Now I'm going to factor out this left-hand side here. They both have a 2t in common. Factoring 2t out. What's going to be left is t minus 3. Now, a negative 5 and 15 have a negative 5 in common. Factor my negative 5 out. I'm going to have t minus 3 remaining. Check it with the distributive property. Negative 5 times t is a negative 5t. Negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15. Cool. I'm going to create my double bubble beneath that. I know that these two terms both have t minus 3 in common, so I'm going to write that out. And I also know I have 2t and a negative 5 left over, so I will write that out. And now it's been successfully factored. Let's write that out one more time. 2t minus 5 times the quantity of t minus 3. And there you are.